Alright guys, so today I woke up a whole new different person as y'all can see. I dyed my hair red um, and I'm loving it. Um, Lucky doesn't really like it, but whatever, he'll get over it and he'll get used to it. I feel energized and I feel like the universe is trying to tell me something today. So hopefully we have a great day today and let's go check out what Lucky's doing. I'm watching KRS-One spit some game. Who is KRS-One? Look him up. He was talking about these stupid scientists talking about there's junk DNA in our bodies. There's no such thing as junk DNA. These scientists just don't know what that part of the DNA does. That's why you people out there don't think you're going to learn everything you need to learn from going to school and going to college and listening to these professors. You got to educate yourself. We're back with another video vlog. Got some Popeyes. Say what's up. Hunter's red. Looks nice. But Houston looks like he just her. had diarrhea and he's farting. Um, I'm just kidding, guys. Go get me a spoon. I gotta go get a spoon and a fork. Elijah does not like putting in the vlogs. Okay. I'm getting his money anyways. I'm getting the percent. I'm getting big percent, man. Spoon or fork. You got. I'm about to get another fork just for me. And now, Joe. We gotta make this vlog like 20 minutes long, guys, so we're gonna be vlogging a lot today. <gasps> Fries. You got some ketchup. Wait, wait a minute, wait a minute. Who asked for a spoon? You? It's my fork. I want some mash. Batata. Cola and mayonnaise soda. Money sitting up. You want a spoon or a fork? I'm just about to get two spoons, two forks, you know? What I'm doing? I vlog with the other hand. Boy! Look at this. I'm a waiter. I got two plates. Two spoons, two forks. I'm a goat. I'm the biggest goat. Wait a minute. I thought I thought I needed a plate. You use the plate you brought. I bought two plates. Yeah, that was a Gigi. Okay. There we go. About to eat. Be back with y'all in a bit. Alright, so I don't know if y'all can see, but there's a cop car outside of our house. I know that it's hard to see through all these branches. Um, long story short. I'm gonna tell y'all what happened. That's the second time the police done came to my house. The first time, Lil Kingston and his friend took off walking to the store without asking, and a neighbor called and said there's two little kids walking down the main street, and the police brought them home. The next time, today, the police open up, open up. So I thought it was Kingston. So I like turned the water off and I listened. I'm like, oh, it's just Kingston. So I turned the back water back on. And then I realized the police was actually here. Man. I got so scared. Houston. What is y'all doing over Let's here? Let's go. You're trash, Elijah. I got a light. I mean, I got, I, I got, I got Houston. I just trashed on Elijah. Houston. <laughs> So I'm always the bubbly happy one, right? And Lucky's always the grumpy old man. I'm hungry, I gotta pay some bills. I gotta blah, 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 blah. I'm hungry. Cheer the f up, please. I gotta bust a Reezy. A Reezy? A Reezy. It really does. They got a panaderia. Hang a whole bunch of piñatas on the ceiling. Yum. Thank you. Is this barbacoa? Yeah. Are you gonna get one? Yeah. I'm getting two. I want a bite. Look at this thing, y'all. Oh, this is handmade. You know I'm gonna take some conchas home. 
Oh, these are probably like my favorite. These and the conchas. Lucky doesn't like none of that stuff. He likes empanadas. The Alamo House this is probably one of the best places in Houston. You can come and get you some good homemade tacos. Turn up. Now when I tell you these are the best tacos, there's no lie. Y'all wanna watch us eat? So, what'd you get? I got chicken, spicy chicken, and spicy barbacoa. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, and we're gonna need that. Okay, so we got some tea for y'all. Just finished eating our tacos. Um, the sun is actually out today, so it's kind of beaming on us too strong. Uh, so yesterday I quit. I didn't go to work. And they asked sent the cops to the house. Like, who does that? I knew that was gonna happen. She, she quit over a text message. She texted her job and told them, I'm having family problems and I can't make it into work. I won't be making it coming into work anymore. So I already knew it sounded like some domestic wait, wait, wait. abuse. It sounded like I done buried you in the backyard and I texted you your job and told them you ain't coming in. But why would they think that? They know that know. we're madly in love. Anyways, I feel I, I like I would have thought that. I feel uh, like I didn't owe them no explanation. So and when her my job family was calling, issue, my family issue is that I'm taking so much time off to work, and I don't get to see the kids no more, and it's kind of killing me. You ain't missing nothing. When I get home, I have to like, it's like a whole nother job. I have to clean, I have to cook, I have to take care of the baby. Like as soon as I get, I used to get in the house, you would hand me the baby like here. Yep, so your turn. It was hard and honestly, I'm just like Anyway, whatever. so when her job was calling back, she turns her phone off and I said, man, they are gonna call the cops thinking you, something happened to you. And sure enough, they knocked on the door. I said, who is it? They said, the police. <laughs> and I thought it was Kingston's little friend playing. I opened the door, it's the cop. But yes sir, can I help you? He said, I'm looking for Kelly Melendez. I said, oh, does baby got warrants? I'll be down there to get you. Shut the... And then he said he had to check on her because her job called and he wanted to make sure she was all right. I said, oh man. But that's the main reason I quit because they've been doing the most. Like, it's too much. Too much going on. Too much. So now she's gonna be a full time blogger. Said she's gonna turn quit up. to be a full time blogger. You know what's funny? I bought this camera. Bless you. Bless you, Houston. I bought this camera back in July, right? Or June or July. I bought this camera. And that was the whole purpose. We bought the camera to start vlogging. And it's what? January? And we barely started vlogging. Well, first of all, let me clarify. We were going to record the birth of Houston, but you got scary. We had set up the camera because you know how some hospitals don't let you record or whatever. So we were in that situation where they didn't let us record. And he was so paranoid. We already had the camera set up, right? And we had already hit the record button. Well, right when the doctor comes in to deliver the baby, which only took Yeah, but four I didn't know pushes. how he was going to look. Wait, I didn't on, know he on. was going to come out with a big Babe, old mark on his face or something. Anyways, uh, as soon as the doctor comes in, he goes to our little stash spot where we hit the camera and he stopped recording. Uh -uh. Like, why did you do that? Like, I, why? I had to make sure what he, he, would look, he so, looked like a, he was supposed to look before I put him on camera. Well, look. Yeah, he flies, right, so he camera ready now. Look at his little Anyways, so he messed up that whole deal. And then every time me and the kids used to tell you, let's vlog, let's have a family vlog, you would be like, ah. I'm not gonna put y'all out there like that. Da, 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 da. Because there's a lot of haters out there and y'all be talking well, some nonsense. If I would have known he was getting all these stuff. damn views, I would have started vlogging a long time ago. So I understand where he was coming from, trying to protect us, but at the same time, it's like, baby, we stars. You can't, you can't hide our shine. You can't. What, what am I trying to say? I ain't trying to block y'all shine. I be trying to protect y'all. You have a hair from all the negativity in the world. In well, that's what happens when you get old, baby. You start growing it. hair in Let your me ear. Pull it. Say, man, you ain't better be pulling hair on my ear on this camera. Oh, I got it. Look, can y'all see it? <laughs> man, we gotta go. Bye.
Can y'all see it? Can <laughs> you got a little tooth? Look at this little tooth growing on the bottom. Let me see your tooth. Let me see your tooth. Let me see your tooth. Wait, there you go. So now that Miss Kelly isn't working anymore, I can have some time to go record like I haven't been able to because I've been watching Baby Houston while she was at work. And I gotta get back on my job. Back up in the home studio, you know what I'm talking about? I gotta knock out this verse real quick for my boy Slow Sipper out there in Denver, Colorado. If you need that hot 16, holler at me, Lucky Book, and say gmail.com. What you talk about? I ain't chasing no cloud. Me and Slow Sipper get the chippers, no doubt. Rock a soul, I show. Wake up on the top floor. And when I'm in LA, I gotta go to Roscoe's. I'm the Bato, they be kicking hot flows. And I ain't like these other guys, I really got dough. I'ma drive slow, now this ain't no Bronco. Suicide dough, blowing smoke up out my nose. Wake up feeling great, ain't no more dealing weight. Fuck the jury store, I'd rather buy some real estate. Who you laughing at, Houston? <laughs> Crazy boy. Uh, I was just gonna come record you. I already recorded myself. I was uh, using the computer camera. You were freestyling? A little something like that there, I ain't on to my. <laughs> she always turning the camera off when I'm about to get into my speech. I was about to give a good speech and she done cut the camera off. I done forgot what I was about to say. But I know it's only one o'clock in the afternoon and we done got everything done we had to do today. Now we just gotta chill, wait for these kids to get home. I think I'm hungry again. Uh-oh, look who done walked in the door. Let's see which one of these three amigos it is. I'm back. Got Leah in the house. What happened at school today? Did they see your pretty little, um, I told my teacher. And what did she say? She just said, well. Mm -hmm. Where's your backpack? I put it up. <laughs> did you bring them trash cans inside? No. Oh, that's the first thing you need to do, buddy. You know what Kingston does on the bus? What? He'll put on music from his phone and he'll just start dancing. We got Leah Leah's. Leah's. Read some frames. That's Jimmy mine. G's. And look at little old Kingston. Done wore my chain to school thinking he fly. Yeah, he wore that today. Like he told me I couldn't smile. Stop, Houston. Yeah, they said they... Alright, I'm gonna help this little girl with her project. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> Why y'all want to take the credit? I'm gonna help her with her project. And uh, make sure y'all hit the like button. Make sure y'all subscribe. Leave a comment and all that good stuff, man. Hey, man, if you got a Facebook, share this video on your Facebook. Make it go viral, man. Now, let me get back to my daughter's project. You were never, you were never doing it. Mom's doing it. 